Business Lexington is made possible by the Keeneland Association, offering the finest in thoroughbred racing each April and October along with auctions four times yearly in Lexington, Kentucky. By the law firm of Bowles Rice. By Smiley Pete Publishing, Lexington's community media company at smileypete.com. And by Leininger Cabinet and Woodworking Incorporated, the premier architectural woodworking manufacturers in the Midwest, combining talented, skilled professionals with state-of-the-art machinery and technology to create custom architectural millwork and casework, quality defined by detail. Welcome to Business Lexington for August 2008. Coming up, gas prices may be soaring and you might be inclined to get into the business of manufacturing alternative vehicles, but as we hear from Ann Sabatino, if it's electric, it's not legal, not on Kentucky highways. Doug High takes us to an unusual leadership training center where horses serve as instructors. Austin has Austin City Limits, Boulder has E-Town, Charleston has Mountain Stage, and Lexington has its own weekly live music show being broadcast on radio, television, and the internet worldwide. We'll talk with creator Michael Jonathan as Wood Songs nears show number 500. What does it say about a city, and a business community for that matter, that successfully supports an annual chamber music festival? Chris Huskisson has that story. Should Lexington's primary downtown arteries be converted from one-way to two-way thoroughfares? Eric Carlson takes the question to the streets. And amending the state constitution. It's a challenging undertaking, but as we'll hear in this month's commentary by Sylvia Lovely, it may take that change to give Kentucky cities what they need to serve their growing populations and compete in the world. It's all straight ahead on this edition of Business Lexington. <laughs> 